Hi everyone, it's Ben Dunnett here from musictheoryacademy.com. In this lesson, we're going to think about tempo. We're going to ask the question, what is tempo and why is it so important? How can I easily see what the tempo is in a piece of music? And finally, how do I know if the tempo changes? So firstly, what is tempo? Well, tempo is the speed of the beat or pulse of a piece of music. There are two things that I find students get confused about this. Some people say, oh, it's the number of beats in a bar. No, that's not correct. The number of beats in a bar um, is described by the time signature. The other thing that confuses people is some people think that it's um, change, that the, the tempo changes as the rhythms get more busy or the rhythms get more complex. Um, it's really important to think that tempo is just a description of the speed of the beat or pulse of a piece of music. Have a listen to these uh, three very short pieces of music that I'll play. Um, each one of them is, has got exactly the same tempo, even though the complexity of the rhythms change. You can hear when you listen to that that it, why people get confused because they think oh the, the rhythm's getting busy it sounds like it's getting faster but it's not the rhythms are just getting a little bit more complex okay so keep focused in mind what is tempo tempo is the speed of the beat or the pulse of a piece of music so why is tempo so important well tempo is really important because it has a massive impact on the feel or style of a piece of music if you listen to a piece of disco music it's highly likely that it's going to have a fast tempo. Whereas if you're listening to a romantic ballad, that's much more likely to have quite a slow tempo. The choice of speed, the choice of tempo, has a big impact on the feel or style of the piece of music. So how do I know what the tempo of a piece is when I'm, when I'm reading music? Well, there's two things that you need to look for. Firstly is a tempo marking. Now, tempo markings are mostly Italian words, although sometimes you'll see them uh, in English or even in other languages as well. Um, and they are a word written uh, usually at the beginning of the piece of music just above the stave. And here are some typical words you might come across. Adagio, meaning slow, andante, meaning walking pace, moderato, quite quickly, allegro, fast, and presto, very fast. There are other words that you come across, but those five words are very common. So you might see a tempo marking at uh, the start of the piece. The other thing to look for uh, is something called a metronome marking. Now these are being increasingly used uh, in contemporary sheet music um, and this shows the beats per minute or the BPM. So you'll quite often see something like this and there we've got a quarter note or a crotchet equals 120. And what that means is it's saying look the speed or tempo of this piece needs to be that you have 120 quarter notes or crotchets in every minute. And that's the speed that we go for. So two things to look for, um, uh, tempo markings and metronome markings. So how do I know if the tempo changes as I'm going through a piece of music? Well, two other things to look for again. Firstly, if there's a sudden change in tempo, so the composer wants to change speed uh, immediately, then you'll see simply a new tempo or a new metronome marking. Have a look at this piece of music here. You can see the first four bars, that top line, there's that marking adagio, meaning slow. So those four bars need to be played slowly. The next line, you've got allegro. Okay, so the composer's saying, actually, I want these next four bars to be played allegro, to be played fast. And so the tempo would change straight away. The second thing to look for is if there's a gradual change in the tempo, because the composer may say, well, I don't want to change tempo suddenly, I want to gradually change the speed. In that case, there's a few more Italian words to look out for. Firstly, if they want it to speed up, then you've got this accelerando, um, and that's abbreviated uh, like you can see there. Um, if they want to slow it down, you've got rallentando or ritardando, and quite often, again, that you'll see that abbreviated. Um, 
once it's sped up, once it's slowed down, if the composer wants you to return to the tempo as it was before, they'll write a tempo. And that will uh, uh, be saying, look, I want you to go back to the original tempo. So let's have a look at this example of a gradual change in tempo. And you see um, the, uh, the, the start of the piece of music is, um, is walking pace and Dante. And then just towards the end of that top line, that last bar, they've put RAL, which is short for rallentando, which means slow down. So they want you to play that last bar, just slowing down a little bit, just to, gives a bit more expression to the music. Then on that bottom line, you've got a tempo again. It means go back to the original tempo, go back to andante and play that next line, um, andante again. Um, have a listen to that uh, that example played here. Can you hear from that example how there's a, just a gentle slowing down of it towards the end of the first line and then we're back to that walking pace tempo um, for the second second line of music. So what did we learn from this? We learned what is tempo and why is it so important? Remember tempo simply describes the speed of the beat or the pulse of the music. How can I easily see what tempo is? Uh, look out for tempo markings, look out for metronome markings. And how do I know if the tempo changes? Again. If it's going to change suddenly, look out for a new tempo, uh, a new metronome marking or a new tempo marking. And if it's going to change gradually, look out for those Italian words that we looked at. Hope you find that lesson helpful. Um, head over to musictheoryacademy.com and you'll find lots more video lessons uh, and uh, various different resources to help you on your musical journey.